This tutorial is just to basically show you how auto shapes work. If you click on auto shapes down here, you have several options lines, connectors, basic shapes, block arrows, flow chart, stars and banners, callouts, and action buttons. If I go to basic shapes, I can basically pick any one of these shapes, click and hold my mouse button down, let go, and I've now drawn a shape. If you want to color the shape in, you simply double click on it, and you can choose the fill color. You can choose any of these colors you'd like or you can go into fill effects and change it to any of these fill effect patterns or uh, as advanced as you'd like to get. Now, line right here, a lot of people get very confused. Line, you would want to think of it as a border. If I change this to yellow and press preview, you'll see how the border turned yellow. If I want to change the style to real thick, you can sort of see it in preview. Now if I make it I don't know, orange, and change the style to like a double line preview. Yeah, it's hard to tell, but you can sort of see the double line there. So think of line as a border, or you can choose no line or keep the automatic black. Then, that's basic auto shapes. Now, some auto shapes have, when you click on it, this yellow diamond. If you click on the yellow diamond and drag it back and forth, you can change the dimensions of your shape. Some shapes have it, some shapes don't. All shapes have white circles. The white circles around it help you resize the shape to be larger, smaller, skinnier, or fatter. And all auto shapes have a green circle at the top. The green circle helps you rotate the shape any way you'd like. So, knowing all the different features of auto shapes can really help you design and create a great character. Another basic thing about auto shapes is if you draw a new shape, the new shape always goes on top, no matter where it is. If you want to change that, what you can do is you can right click on the shape and change its ordering. If I want it to be all the way on the top, I say bring to front. If I want it behind everything, I send it to back. If I want to bring it forward one shape, I say bring forward. If I want to send it behind one shape, I send backwards. So if I say send to back, you'll notice how the square now went behind both shapes. This circle right here, if I right click order and send backward, you'll see how it goes behind one shape but stayed on top of another. So reordering shapes can be very handy whenever you need to create a body uh, or a background. So knowing the basics of these auto shapes can really help you create a nice character and a background.